Welcome to the summer learning edition of Grow Up Down, Tales of Tales. Today we're going to take a tour of the North Birmingham Zooberry. Follow me. Sebastian. Meet Sebastian. Sebastian is a lion head rabbit. Rabbits are herbivores. That means they eat vegetables and grains. Like most rabbits, Sebastian is a good jumper. Did you know that rabbits can sleep with their eyes open? They do this so they can stay alert to attacks by other animals. Their teeth also continue to grow, so they have to keep them fouled down. We give Sebastian lots of chew toys. Bye, Sebastian. Meet Charlotte. Charlotte is a tarantula. Charlotte eats insects. No, she's not an insect. Do you know what Charlotte is? If you say arachnid, then you are right. You probably knew that spiders have eight legs, but did you know that they also have eight eyes? People think spiders are poisonous, but they're not. They're venomous. Venom travels through the bloodstream. Poison is either ingested through the skin or the mouth. Although Charlotte can spin a beautiful web, she usually catches her prey by grabbing them with her tendibles. She injects her venom into her prey. The venom turns the bug's insides into liquid mush. She then inserts her two straw-like devices and slurps it up like a bug smoothie. Yum! Have you ever heard arachnophobia? That's the fear of spiders. But you don't have to be afraid of Charlotte. She's pretty friendly. Bye, Charlotte! This is Jabberwocky. Jabberwocky is a bearded dragon lizard. And no, he doesn't breathe fire. Sorry to disappoint you. Bearded dragon lizards are omnivores. That means they eat plants and meat. And Jabberwocky loves his worms and crickets. When bearded dragons get upset, their chin puffs out and turns black. And that's where they get the name bearded dragon. Although his scales and horns look very dangerous, they're not dangerous to the touch. They're just for show. They're just to scare away predators. Did you know that bearded dragon lizards slow down when it gets cold, to reserve energy. They're cold-blooded. Cold-blooded means that they can't control their body temperature like we can. So they have to bask in the sun to keep warm. They are native to the Australian desert. Bye, Jabberwocky. Pipsqueak is a lovable resident chinchilla. He loves to be petted, he never meets a stranger, and he'll greet you as you enter the zoobrary. Chinchillas can jump up to six feet high. Chinchillas are native to the snow-capped Andes Mountains. Chinchillas are also in the rodent family. Because their teeth continue to grow, they have to foul them down. Chinchillas are a special form of nocturnal called Crapuscular. Can you say that? Crapuscular means that they are most active at dusk and dawn. Chinchillas shouldn't get wet because their fur is so dense, so thick that it doesn't completely dry. So it can mold or clump and fall out. Instead, chinchillas take dust baths. The dust absorbs the excess oil and dirt. Say bye to Pipsqueak. Meet the last animal on our tour, Turtle Tuck. Turtle Tuck is a box turtle. 
You may have noticed that turtle tuck has red eyes. Male turtles have red or orange eyes. Female turtles have brown eyes. Turtle spines are located on their shells, so never thump a turtle shell, because they can feel that. If you touch your fingernail with your finger, you can feel that, right? That's the same sensation that turtles have when you touch their shells. Turtles are also cold-blooded, so they bask in the sun to stay warm, and they also slow down in the winter. Turtles are omnivores, so they eat lots of vegetables and fruits and insects. Turtle Tuck is a land turtle, but he's also a good swimmer. Bye, Turtle Tuck. Thanks for taking a tour of the North Birmingham Zoo Brewery with me.